Tonight, Oleksiak will take another crack at winning her Canadian record seventh Olympic medal when she competes in the final of her signature event. Let's start our daily viewing guide there, then look at two other strong medal chances coming up for Canada tonight, plus a big match for the women's soccer team and some much-needed good news for U.S. gymnastics, with her four medals from the 2016 Rio Games and now two more in Tokyo, Oleksiak has already reached the podium more times in the Summer Olympics than any other Canadian. One more and the 21-year-old will break a tie with speed skater Cindy Klassen and speed skater, cyclist Clara Hughes for the most medals ever by a Canadian Olympian, it could happen tonight in the. This is the event Oleksiak won gold in as a 16-year-old in Rio, pulling off one of the most stunning results in Canadian sports history by tying American Simone Manuel for first place and the Olympic record, but five years is a long time in swimming, and Manuel is a prime example of that. Despite adding the 100m freestyle world title in both 2017 and 19, the 24-year-old failed to make it out of the U.S. Olympic trials in her best event. Oleksiak also knows how tough it is to stay on top. She finished sixth at the 2017 World Championships and didn't even compete in the 100 free at the 2019 Worlds. Before taking bronze in the Olympic 200 freestyle earlier this week, Oleksiak hadn't won a medal in an individual race at a major international meet since Rio, but if Penny has taught us anything, it's that she peaks on the Olympic stage. She swam a personal season best 52.86 seconds in last night's semi-finals, only 0.16 of a second off her Rio gold medal time. That was good for just fifth place overall, but consider that she had to swim for a medal in the 4x200 relay about 90 minutes later. Surely, she held a little back, Penny will have to empty the tank tonight to beat Australia's Emma McKeon, who's the clear gold medal favourite after torching Oleksiak and Manuel's Olympic record with a 52.13 in the heats and going under the old standard again to place first overall in the semis. Siobhan Hawkey, who became the first swimmer to win an Olympic medal for Hong Kong when she took silver in the 200 freestyle earlier this week, also bettered the Oleksiak manuel time in the semis. Some betting shops have Penny listed as the number five favourite to win the final, behind Australia's Kate Campbell and Sweden's Sarah Sjöström, who took silver and bronze behind Manuel at the most recent World Championships, in 2019. But if we've learned anything else from Penny over the past week, it's to not bet against someone with her immense talent and fighting spirit. If Oleksiak falls short of the podium tonight, she'll have one more chance to break the record in Tokyo in the women's 4x100m medley relay. The heats are Friday at 7.57 a.m. Eastern Time, and the final on Saturday night, another swimming event to watch tonight, Canadians Kylie Mass and Taylor Ruck compete in the women's 200m backstroke semi-finals starting at 10.35 p.m. Eastern Time. Mass, who took silver in the 100 backstroke on Monday night, was the bronze medalist in the 200 at the 2019 Worlds, women dominating Team Canada's performance in Tokyo 2020 critics say Hab's owner's apology isn't enough meet bassoonist Samuel Fraser Saskatchewan music producer is working hard to preserve all types of indigenous music it's good for opening up the conversation, Dave Merhayer on discussing therapy with his family what to do about the doctor shortage? NS party leaders propose ideas Alberta reduces COVID-19 measures, sites need to focus on all respiratory infections NS. Party leaders weigh in on moderate livelihood fishery Kildonan Park Golf Course celebrates 100 years Feds announces new strategy to tackle future pandemics How one mayor tackled vaccine hesitancy in a deeply Republican city Nishnorbi Aski Nation Grand Chief to call on federal government for help after disappointing meeting with Premier Ford Manitoban's vaccine booking habits changing but not stalling out Johannu Botha Manitoba's next vaccine milestones right around the corner Johannu Bothava really are pleading Dr. Joss Reimer urges Manitobans in lower uptake areas to get a COVID-19 vaccine animal group concerned about Kiska the orca at Marineland along with Penny in the women's 100m freestyle, there are two more strong possibilities. In chronological order, four finals are on tap for the last day of competition, and there's a Canadian boat in one of them, the women's eight at Canada missed the podium in this event at the 2016 Olympics and the most recent World Championships, in 2019. But the betting markets suggest this crew has a good chance to win a medal. The Canadians are listed pretty much even with Romania for the number three favourite, with New Zealand and the US the only two teams clearly ahead of them. From here on out, every match is single elimination. This one is a rematch of the third place game at the Rio Olympics, where Canada upset the host team 2 to 1 to win its second consecutive bronze medal. To make it three podiums in a row, the eighth ranked Canadians will have to pull off multiple upsets. 
Seventh ranked Brazil is favored to beat them, and Canada would be an even bigger underdog in the semis against the winner between the top ranked United States and the number four Netherlands. Two all time greats will battle in the Canada Brazil matchup Christine Sinclair, who scored her record 187th international goal in Canada's group stage opener vs Japan, and Marta, who ranks eighth in history with 112 international goals.